Excellencies, dear media friends. Okay. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the government of Indonesia, I wish to welcome all of you, our media friends, and certainly the members of, it's a very long name, but we call it Sheriff Bureau, Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People, or Bureau of Palestine in the UN, that is led by Ambassador Sheikh Nyang, the permanent representative of the Senegal to United Nations, with the vice chairs uh, from Namibia, uh, permanent representative from Namibia. Of course, welcome back, Pua Tata, to his old room. And um, permanent representative, Ambassador of Malaysia, as well as Nicaragua, and one permanent representative, uh, an ambassador of Cuba, is absent today. And certainly, we also welcome Minister and permanent uh, representative of Palestine to United Nations. So we are very honored with honored with this visit because it once again shows our. Uh, commitment towards Palestine, at the same time, a very positive testament of our uh, contributions uh, to the cause of Palestinian issues. So the committee uh, has come yesterday and has met the, uh, uh, the inter-parliamentary committee in the, the uh, DPR, the House of Representatives, led by Bapak Parlizon, and they just met Ibu uh, Retno Marsudi, and later on they are going to meet uh, Vice President, uh, Minister of Defense, uh, ASEAN, the permanent uh, representatives, and as well as uh, colleagues, friends from business and uh, civil society. So I think that is my introduction and I wish to take uh, to give the floor to Ambassador Niang to be followed by Ambassador Mansur. Ambassador Niang, you have the floor. Thank you very much uh, Ambassador Tariat for this introduction and uh, we are really uh, happy and delighted uh, to be in Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia who is a very strong supporter of the uh, Palestinian cause and really an ally to the Palestinian people. And what is uh, admirable about uh, your support is that support is uh, really cross-cutting because it's coming from all the components of uh, Indonesia, coming from the branches of government, coming from the people. So there is a united engagement uh, to, for the cause of, 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 of Palestine. Uh, I think the meeting we have just held with uh, the minister is the testimony of uh, the strong uh, dedication of uh, Indonesia. We were able to have a very fruitful uh, discussion with the, with, the, with the minister, and we are always impressed by the way uh, Indonesia is investing itself in promoting uh, the cause of Palestine. We were telling the minister that uh, she's a, she is someone even seen as a Palestinian. When she speaks about Palestine, uh, she is really behaving as, as a Palestinian, defending the rights of the Palestinians. And uh, these also stances, these stances are also held very honorably by your, your uh, representative at, at the UN, Ambassador Tata. So we would like really to, to highlight that the engagement and the commonality of uh, engagement uh, to, the cause, to the cause of Palestine. Uh, so we are here uh, to mainly thank Indonesia for that dedication and say that we still count on Indonesia uh, to maintain that commitment and dedication. We know that there will be a change of uh, administration very soon and uh, Indonesia has always shown its support to the Palestinian cause. That support started uh, decades ago in 1975 when the committee was formed. Indonesia was admitted as a member of the committee. And since then, the, uh, Indonesia has been playing a very pivotal role, a very crucial role in organizing that. And you are also among the first countries in the world to recognize uh, Palestine. The, you know that these days you are talking about recognition. But Indonesia recognized Palestine now for something like 36 years. I think it was in 1988 that uh, Indonesia recognized among the first countries in the world the state of Palestine. 
So as you know, we, are, we have been leading a campaign of recognition. You have followed what has happened in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in Europe. Uh, Ambassador Mansour will talk about it. We have also done something in the CARICOM uh, region. Uh, with only one now, one, only one country remaining to recognize Palestine, which is uh, uh, Panama. And uh, you remember that there were a wave of countries which also recognized Palestine. But as you know, uh, the uh, urgency right now is uh, what is happening in Gaza, because people are being killed every day. The death toll is huge. And as you all know, the priority, the top priority now is to make sure that international efforts uh, can lead uh, to stop the war, to have a ceasefire, a humanitarian ceasefire, and then see what will be the next steps. So, I know that um, most of you, you know what uh, the uh, committee is doing. We have a mandate, and the mandate uh, has been given to us, as I said, in 1975. And the mandate is based on international law, the, uh, the resolutions of uh, the United Nations, and, and, and basically the objective of uh, having the two-state solution. So I'm not going to uh, say more, and uh, I will leave my colleague also to say some words, and then we can uh, lend ourselves to your questions, and then we'll, I hope that we'll have a very uh, good exchange. So with your permission, I will give the floor to uh, Minister Mansour, who is the representative of Palestine to the United Nations. And if my colleagues want to add something, they are free to do so. So Minister Mansour, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I am delighted that uh, we see this large number of uh, press conference. Uh, I am accustomed to large press conferences outside the Security Council at the UN. We are very friendly to media, and media, as we trust, uh, will uh, play its responsible role of conveying the truth about the question of Palestine. I agree with the Chairman that we are here as the leadership of the committee on the exercise of the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people, almost all of us, only one is missing because he is not feeling well, to say thank you to Indonesia, to the people of Indonesia, to the government of Indonesia, uh, to all uh, those who are shaping up public opinion in Indonesia. We do that because we know that Indonesia is one of the strongest supporters of the cause of Palestine, the cause of justice, the cause of peace, the cause of seeing a two-state solution being implemented on the ground. Uh, we also, you know, met with leaders in parliament. We met with the foreign minister today. We will, met, we will meet with the vice president in the afternoon, and tomorrow we will meet also with the incoming elected uh, president. Uh, we are meeting with also civil society organizations, think tank, and the Council of Ambassadors of uh, ASEAN. So in the two days and a half, uh, we will be covering a lot of mileage. In these meetings, we had very constructive discussion about our collective responsibility for putting an end to this uh, uh, war of genocide against the Palestinian people, particularly in the Gaza Strip, for the last nine months. We all uh, have been trying our best uh, at the United Nations, at the capitals, in the Security Council, everywhere, in order to put an end to this war. We need to save lives. Uh, those who were killed, Allah yarham hum, may God bless them. We cannot bring them back to life. But those who are still alive, it is our duty to save them and not uh, to allow for their killing, them, for, for them to be killed, especially since the largest number of those killed are children and women. So therefore, uh, we discussed, as I said, that top priority, also helping the Palestinian people to the scale that they need in terms of humanitarian assistance to stop the... Uh, to the mass transfer, especially threatening the Palestinians to expel them out of their homeland, particularly Gaza. And also we discussed issues related to investing in peace, investing in two-state solution by, by uh, having more countries recognizing the state of Palestine, 
and admitting the state of Palestine to membership. We have 149 countries that have recognized the state of Palestine so far, uh, and we hope that this massive number would convince those who are in the single minority in the Security Council who are still, you know, refusing to acknowledge reality and to say, yes, the Palestinian people uh, deserve to see their state being admitted as a member state. So the more recognition that we have, it will help to convince those who are not convinced. Let me also say the fact that we have a wave of recognition among European countries, West European countries, led by Spain, is creating a shift in the thinking of Western countries. Most of Western countries used to think, like the United States, that recognition and admission should come at the end of the process. Now, the shift is, let's invest in peace, let's invest in saving the two-state solution, let the state of Palestine be admitted uh, to membership so that let it be at the beginning of the process as an investment, as I said, in peace and saving the two-state solution. So therefore, this shift in thinking is an important shift to contribute to peace. And the more we will have of states recognizing the state of Palestine, not only in Europe, but also in Asia, especially the countries that voted yes in the General Assembly among the 143 countries that voted yes and asking the Security Council to reconsider the admission, we hope that collectively we can succeed in convincing them to, uh, to take that step of recognizing the state of Palestine uh, as a state that, and also to help the state to be uh, recommended by the Security Council for admission. We are grateful that, uh, that uh, Indonesia not only active on all these issues and we discuss details and ways of how we can improve our work in all these issues, but Indonesia at the ministerial level is a member of the Arab and OIC uh, ministerial committee of eight, uh, in which uh, the ministers went to all, to all corners of the globe, starting with the capitals of the P5, the permanent members of the Security Council, uh, lobbying for putting an end to the war, and, you know, uh, visited other countries for the same purpose. We appreciate that. We appreciate the work of all of them, uh, including, of course, Indonesia. And uh, uh, they are also active in lobbying countries to invest in peace and recognize the state of Palestine. We have a tall order before us, each and every one, and every component of society has to, uh, to play its role. We ask the parliament to play its role. We are asking the government to play its role. We will ask civil society to play its role. And we ask you, the media, also to play your role by objectively reporting about all these issues that we are discussing with the government of Indonesia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.